Hey, welcome to the shop. Today I'm going to show you a new way that I've come up with to notch round tubing and make these perfect cupped joints that are ready for TIG welding. Now, the first time that I worked with round tube and had to notch it was back in high school. I was working on a buggy chassis at my dad's shop and uh, I had one of the notches that used a hole saw to cut your notch and I found that you still had to manually face off the edge to get a good fit up for TIG welding. And I've used other methods. I've used the little gauges that have pins around them and that can be helpful as well as measuring an offset. But any of them still have a lot of back and forth trimming. And so I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if you could really just define the exact profile that you wanted, uh, trace it on your tube, cut it out and be done with it. And then thinking through it, really what you want is the intersection of the inner diameter of this tube with the outer diameter of this tube faced off all the way around. And that can be defined mathematically. So I wrote some code and it's linked down in the description below where you just put in a few parameters such as the diameter of the tube that you're notching, the diameter of the tube that it's mating and so forth, and the angle and it'll give you a uh, little template that you can use to trace on the exact profile that you want and cut it out. So I'm going to show you how to create that model and how to cut them out and really how it worked. Let's get started. Go ahead and start your computer and then go to the link in the website. The code that drives this whole thing is over here on the side. So if you're a super nerd like me, you can read it or just click to make it go away. Scroll wheel will zoom and the mouse will pan around. Now I don't think this works on mobile devices, so you need to be on a desktop and you enter these parameters down here. And you can do this in inches or millimeters as long as you use consistent units. So the first thing we'll put in is the outer diameter of our tubing, which is one inch. Next is the wall thickness, which is 50 thousandths of an inch in this case. Next is the diameter of the tubing that you're mating to, and this could be larger than your notch tubing or the same size. We'll just use one inch in this case. Next is the angle, and uh, by default it's set to 90 degrees, but let's go ahead and set it to 45 degrees in this case. Next is the thickness of the template and a hundred thousandths of an inch works pretty well for me. Next is the height and this is the distance from the base to the intersection point of the center lines of the tubing and this really makes it easy to build to a design and make sure you get things the right length. And the last is the radial clearance and that's, that's basically the gap between the tubing and the model because my printer prints stock on. I uh, set it to 15 thousandths of an inch. You click to apply and generate and download and you're ready to go. Data transfer complete. Now let's get out and make some stuff. Hey, if you haven't tuned in before, my name's Tim. I'm a welding engineer and I make welding videos for my side hustle shop in my garage. So let me know down in the comments the things that you'd like to know about welding and fabrication. Some of the topics I have coming up are modular fixturing, TIG brazing, basic stick welding, uh, as well as some projects and a CNC plasma table build. So if you don't want to miss any of that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now.
back in here and we'll do a second example and show some of the things that can go wrong. So we'll do some three inch diameter tubing with an 80 thousandths of an inch wall. And we'll go ahead and set that to 72 degrees and click to update. Does not compute. compute. And there's an error here. So uh, what happens is the tubing that you're joining to has to be at least the diameter of the tubing you're notching. So let's change that to three. Uh oh! And it looks like something's not right here. So uh, we just need to increase the height uh, of this thing. Increase that, update it. And we're ready to generate the STL and export. Data transfer complete. Now in the 3D printing software, when you drag it in, if it's really small, um, you may have exported in inches and imported in millimeters. So to correct that, go ahead and just multiply by 25.4 or 2,540%. And that should get it to be the right size. Now to use these to build better to a design, when you draw the profile, since you know the distance and set it between the base and the intersection of the center lines of the tubing, you can draw a line at the base. That way you can make your members exactly to a sketch of tubing uh, center lines. And measure off of that to do your other end, and it should be perfect. Now for K joints, what you need to do is dissect it into two different joints. So that one's 45 degrees, and then this one here is 90. So first of all, go ahead and just take the template for your first angle, which in this case is 45 degrees, and draw that profile and get it set and you're ready to go. Now to do the other one right here, go ahead and take the first angle, which in this case is gonna be 45 degrees, and we'll draw a line in the smallest part of the angle. Then on the other side, you'll draw one on the largest part of the angle, except this one's 90 degrees, so it doesn't really matter which side you use. It's important that both of these have the same intersection line. Now this clocking line that we drew right there will be really useful for uh, aligning the two uh, cuts. So draw a line at the base so you can align the height and that clocking line, and go ahead and trace out the profile like you normally would. Now to do the other side, just take that template, line up the base and the uh, clocking line there, and you can see right here is the material that you need to trim off of the other side. So trace around there, and we're gonna cut on the short side, um, whichever line is uh, shorter, and we cut all that out, and it should fit up um, pretty well right here. So here it's cut out, and it fits with the uh, angles of 90 degrees on the one side and 45 on the other. Hey, well thanks for tuning in. Let us know what you're building down in the comments below and we'll see you next time.